Saleh Abu Mohsen arrived home with his three daughters at 9.10 on the morning of the 1st of August 2014. They found that their house had been shelled. They decided to leave the house in two groups. Abu Mohsen reached the Mashru Amir roundabout and saw burnt cars. One of his daughters, Asel Abu Mohsen, had stayed behind with a neighbour and fell. They later found out that she had died. This video, taken close to the border crossing with Egypt, shows the same road being targeted while civilians were fleeing. The Abu Mohsen family later arrived at the Al Najjar hospital. The area south of the hospital, towards the Al Najjar roundabout, was being shelled at 10.22. At 10.55, people gathering seeking protection next to the hospital took these photographs showing the strike on the Tanur neighbourhood. The same bombing was recorded from different perspectives. We can see civilians fleeing northwards. Close by, another video recorded by a civilian shows the result of an attack on a motorcycle. This happened roughly 10 minutes before the bombing of the Tanoa neighbourhood. At this time, Inam Ouda Avid bin Hamad and her children were at her brother's house on Oruba Street. They decided to flee because the shelling became more intense. Inam was hit by a column of a building knocked out due to the Tanur bombing and lost consciousness. Her son died in this strike. When she awoke, she found her daughter and her niece next to her and made her way to Bilbesi Street, where Dr. Bilbesi was offering first aid. Later that afternoon, another ambulance was struck by a drone close to Al Burwa Al Taqwa Mosque. The shrapnel found on site confirms both Hellfire missile from a drone as well as a gravity bomb, likely from a jet, were used. Testimonies confirm multiple attacks on the mosques and on the ambulances. The attack on roadways went on all day, even in densely populated areas like this commercial street, as captured in these photographs. Between 2 and 2.30 p.m., according to the Al Najjar hospital staff, the hospital was fired at by drones. There were bombs falling nearby, and the Israeli military ordered them to evacuate. The hospital started being evacuated at around 3.30 p.m. This image, taken at 3.35 p.m., shows bomb plumes and burning in the area north of Salah Adin Street. This area was burning throughout the day. This is the earliest time we see it on fire in this image, taken at 10.45 a.m. from the Al Masri Tower. This is the same area burning at 12.26, as seen from the house of a photographer. The size of the plumes indicate that the strikes are similar to those of the Tanoa neighbourhood, which we know to be one-ton bombs. 